Hello friends, welcome to our channel Kastor Classes and in this particular video we are going to start strings in Python. Okay, so first step is we should know how to define a string in a variable. Okay, so what you can do like other programming language for example if you consider Java we define string using double code, right? So same goes for here also in Python you can define this string using double quote like x equal to hello I have defined you inside double quote now what we can do if we write type of x to uh, get the idea of the type uh, of x variable see you will get the output as string that means uh, this x variable is a string okay so we can define this string like this there is another way suppose instead of double quote you give single code then also if I run this code it will work perfectly okay so that means in Python you can define or initialize uh, a variable with a string value in two ways one is writing the string content in inside double code another one is writing the string content inside single code okay now next concept suppose I want to give single code inside double quote or double quote inside single quote or single quote inside single quote or double quote inside double quote are this possible let us check suppose x equal to hello uh, suppose a equal to hello world i am writing okay now what we can do this string is defined using double quote now let us give one single quote in this string okay so now what is the scenario the string is defined using double quote but in this string we have used one single quote in between this string okay so now if i do print a if i run this see successfully it is running and printing the result that is hello then single quote world well and good now let us do the reverse one that is let us define this string using single quote and let us give double quote inside it so I am defining this string using single quote and I am giving double quote inside this. So now this structure will look like this a equal to hello world where in between hello and world there is one double quote but hello world is defined inside a single quote. Okay now if I run this quote see hello world we are getting but in between hello and world there is double quote. So this also works perfectly. So if we define a string using double quote we can easily give single quote inside that and same goes for reverse uh, statement also if we define a string using single quote we can give double quote inside that string now let us do the same operation like single quote in, in inside single quote see now observe our string hello and world this particular string is defined inside single quote and similarly we have used one single quote itself in this string now if i print see we will be getting error why because hello here the single quote is starting compiler will try to find out where the other single quote is there it will get the single quote here then compiler will understand okay fine this is whole string but world this particular part is not defined see there is one ending uh, quote that is ending single quote is present but no beginning single quote so it will it is throwing error okay same goes for suppose what we can do we can define the string using double quote like this and now inside this string we are giving double quote same problem is arriving here that this particular inside these two double quote whatever is there that is basically considered as a string and that should be stored inside a but due to this world part we will get error why because world is ending double quote is there but no beginning so if i run see again we are getting the same error okay so how to avoid this error simple we want to print this particular double quote inside this double quoted string but this should not be treated as the double quote which is used to define this string so what we can do we can give one escape character before this double quote okay so 
if we now if we run this see hello world we are getting without any error and in between hello and world we are getting double quote okay now let us do the reverse one that is all single quote we have defined hello world inside single quote and uh, in between hello and world we are giving single quote now if we run obviously we should get error but suppose we don't want to get error we want to get this particular part as output then we should give this as backslash that is escape character in python now if we run see hello world perfectly we are getting an in between hello and world there is one single quote okay so this is how it is perfectly working now let us go to the next step which is very very important operation in string that is string concatenation e equal to suppose hello and f equal to suppose world now we want to concat this to string what we can do like in case of java we can simply use plus operator uh, to concat this to string so suppose i am writing print e plus f okay so now if i run this see hello world we are getting okay you can use multiple concatenation also like here what i am doing e plus then one empty space i am taking and then f if i run see hello and a world and in between hello and world there is one space also is there okay so hello one space and world are these three strings are concatenated this is how concatenation can be done now one more beautiful property is present in this python that is you can use multiplication in between integers and strings okay suppose i am defining uh, my string as hello in the e variable now i am writing print e into 5 that is string multiplied by one integer what we should get as output let us check see hello 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 five times hello is repeated concatenated what is happening if you multiply one string with one integer this string will be uh, padded that many times of integer and the concatenated version will be given as output you can reverse the order also e into 5 you can do 5 into e then also you will be getting same result if i run the code see okay now you can play with this suppose e equal to hello i have defining b equal to hi i have defined okay now print b plus 5 into e so what we should get as output see first multiplication so five times hello and then concatenation with hi so hi and then five times hello this concatenated version of string we should get as output let us check see hi hello 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 five times hello and in the beginning hi okay now what we can do simple b plus e keep inside one parenthesis and multiply with five now what we should get see b is hi e is hello so hi and hello will be concatenated we will be getting one string hi hello and that will be repeated five times let us check see hi hello hi hello hi hello hi hello hi hello okay so this is how integer can be multiplied with string in python so in this particular video session we have understood four concepts we have observed in jupyter the practical implementation also those are number one there are two possible ways to define a string in python one is using single code another is using double code next concept whatever we have seen that is how to uh, denote single code inside the string which is defined using single code or how to write double quote inside a string which is uh, initialized using double quote and simply single quote inside double quote and double quote inside single quote works perfectly no need to think about anything but if you are using single quote inside single quote or double quote inside double quote then you have to give the escape character before the double quotes which you are giving in the string okay now next concept what we have studied that is string concatenation simply using plus operator and then we have seen how we can multiply integer with a string okay so i hope these four concepts are clear to you this is all for my this video if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and if you find this video helpful please like and share and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the latest video notification at the earliest
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग